Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here at the Australia Marketplace. It's the first live one in about two, three years now. I'm here with Nicole Mitchell of Discover Aboriginal, uh, Aboriginal Experiences, and we're going to talk to her a little about her company, what it does, and also what she's looking for as Americans start to come back to Australia. And this is Insider Travel Report. Now, Nicole, first of all, tell us a little bit about uh, Discover Aboriginal Experiences. Yes. How long have you been around? Absolutely. Thanks, James. Since 2018, we started Discover Aboriginal Experiences. And what it is, is it's a collective of the best of the best Aboriginal guided experiences in Australia. All over, all over the country? All over the country. In regional locations, urban locations, we've got 170 different experiences from 47 businesses. And for those who don't know, we have the world's oldest living culture. I know, and of course, we were had the, yesterday we had the briefing from Australia Tourism, and really, Indigenous tourism is what is they're really focusing on uh, going forward, right? Yeah, absolutely. For us at Tourism Australia, it's a strategic pillar. Um, it makes us unique, but also it's about giving back. It keeps people on country, on communities. All of the experiences, as I said, are Aboriginal guided. They're either Aboriginal owned, and if they're not Aboriginal owned, they have a connection to the country. So for American travellers who want that connection to people, place and produce and learning about things like bush foods, it's the perfect experience for them. Well, give me an example of some of those experiences that you can you can get uh, use, through you guys. Yeah, absolutely. I think you'll be quite surprised. Most people think about Indigenous in terms of art and dance, which it absolutely is. But you can be on the back of a quad bike. You can be doing a three-day hike. You can be kayaking down Catherine Gorge. You can be going to the Great Barrier Reef or catching mud crab on walkabout. Uh, my favorite mud crab. That <laughs> mud crab's amazing. You catch it and then you cook it up on the beach with chili mud crab with walkabout cultural adventures. And then you go into the Dane Tree and you're swimming in beautiful places and learning about the bush foods, which is really like a supermarket and often away from crowds with touring. Right. So it's a um, privilege of place. So often you're going places that maybe normal experiences can't go to. So um, I think it's perfect for, for this market. Especially, you know, this market, you want to learn all about this. You can go see other things in Australia, but it's one of the key things you have to understand is this indigenous Aboriginal culture and how important it is for Australians today, right? Yeah, absolutely. And one really important point is, you've made a point there, James, it's cultures. It's made up of many cultures. It's not just one homogenous culture. So an experience you're doing in Sydney might be different from that in well, doing it. It's like we have Native Americans here who had different tribes. There were different uh, exactly. uh, indigenous peoples across Australia, although they, they date really way, very far back. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's still 110 different languages spoken in yeah, Australia. I don't think people know that in America. No, exactly. They don't. But I think that, um, you know, if you're going to the Great Barrier Reef, amazing place. But if you go with an indigenous guide, it brings that sea country to life. So it brings the landscape to life, hearing the stories behind the places you're visiting. Now, how much are roughly these experiences? What do they cost to, to book them? Yeah, good question. Anything from, say, 40 Australian dollars to 6,000 Australian dollars. We've got everything from a one hour tour to seven nights. So with that diversity, you know, as I mentioned, those 170 experiences, there is literally something for everyone, whether you're into adventure or you're a foodie or a nature lover, or of course our wildlife, you know, everyone loves coming to Australia for our wildlife. We've got experiences with, with wildlife. We've got experiences where you can do dot painting classes. I've done, actually did a dot yeah. painting class it recently, a few months ago, in, in uh, Cairns. Fantastic. I hope you've got you hanging on your wall to remind you. I, I do, because it was such a great work of art. So yeah. I have to be careful yeah, about that. Right. Now, I may just go back and become... This This guy was a serious Indigenous Aboriginal artist, and he's well known. And he also teaches yeah. and Karen. So it was really a great experience. That's fantastic. Yeah, and we've got a couple of those experiences in the collective. With that. And all this, of course, seeing the rock art. Like a lot of people think that you have to go to remote to see rock art. That is not the case. I, I live in Sydney and 15 minutes from me, I've got some rock art sites in the national park. So you can be in urban environments. You can be, you know, Queensland at the Quinkum rock art area with Jaramali art is an amazing experience that That's will blow you away. Now, and you would recommend that any trip to Australia have at least one or more of these experiences, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, at least one, and that's your welcome. Like, so for example, in Sydney, you might do a walking tour for an hour and a half, 
you get a welcome to country, which is a spiritual welcome to our home. And um, it, it's a great way to see the city. But if you're going to Cairns, you should go out to the Great Barrier Reef for the Dane Tree with an Indigenous Guide. If you're going to Uluru, and Maraku Arts has an amazing art class. See it has a, an Aboriginal guided tour, so you get to that feeling of what Uluru is really about. That's a, a clearly a, a site that you could see in this fashion, I would think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, very much so. I mean, it's the heartland of Australia. The culture is so rich and understanding not just about this big monolith, but, you know, I, I won't give the story away, but look up the story or go there and learn about the Indigenous story of how they see the rock formed. That's amazing. Well, Nicole, thank you for spending a little time about this. So if you send your clients to Australia, make sure you include one of these experiences. And I think your clients will really like it. Again, thank you so much. No, thank you very much for your time. And we look forward to welcoming you to Australia and your clients. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>